Welcome to Peg Warmers. I'm Kevin. And I'm Tony from Hack the Movies and Castzilla vs. the Pod Monster. And we're here to talk about toys. Godzilla toys. Yes! How are you doing, Kevin? Doing good, Tony. It's good to be back in the video store. It is. It's great. It's great. You've been here recently, actually. We just did a Waterworld episode. Yes! And before that, X2, X2. X-Men United. Yes. Which, so I got a comment about that. They're like, it's just called X2. X-Men United's the tagline. I'm like, all right, well, everyone calls it X2, X-Men United. Relax. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about that X movie. No. We're here to talk about Godzilla X Kong. <laughs> So are they teaming up? Yes. Is that, this, is, this is the, yes, it's the consensus more, here. We're filming this the day before the new trailer comes out. Mm. So, you know, just in time. Uh, I'm sure all the theories we have will be answered in the trailer that comes out tomorrow. Um, but from what the director said, Adam Wingard, it's more like it's more like a buddy cop thing. That's that's the kind of the feeling I get from it. And, yeah. You know, they previous one was verse and so this one being x it seems like yeah. that's where they're going and um they established in the show the monarch show which i have not seen yeah which is fun it's good yeah, it's good we I, have a review for it on castle which i'll plug later but um they talk about how like godzilla lives above and he makes sure everyone is staying where they're supposed to be and not it like 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 the mutos being on the surface that's a problem he gotcha. had to take care of that Ghidorah. Uh, and Kong is now on the end in the Hollow Earth, mm. dealing with all the stuff down there. So, whatever I'm, I'm assuming these two characters here uh, start trouble. That's uh, we see a bunch of Kongs being enslaved to that new uh, ape monster, and I guess right. they have to team up. And Godzilla gets a pink makeover at some point, and Kong gets the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta have a new outfit or a new style so we can sell more toys. Yes. Right? C-3PO needs a red arm. Yes. And Godzilla needs pink spikes. <laughs> and it's not even the first time. Godzilla no. 2000, I think he was like a little pinkish. Uh, Shin Godzilla, he had the purple right. coming out of him. And, uh, that, and that whole like meltdown, fiery Godzilla has been a merchandising yeah. technique since Destroya came out forever. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Uh, but I guess we can start with regular Godzilla, Kevin. All right. So this is just regular Godzilla with Heat Ray. And if I had to imagine, this is probably a mold from the last movie <laughs> that they repurposed. Possibly. Because I think Playmates did the previous yeah, line. So too. this is a, a whole Playmates toy line. They're really doing a full yeah. planogram of basic figures, uh, electronic figures. Yes. And as well as like role play and everything. I mean, yeah. Full full rollout for this well, movie. I think the big guy is not Playmates. I think it's like okay. Jada or something. Okay. However, I will say, because uh, I remember on Castle, we unboxed the two giant Godzilla and Kongs and yeah. they were like garbage. They did a little bit better this time. It's still a little real hard plasticky. Um, I unf- You might notice I don't have the giant Godzilla Evolved. Mm. That's because when I bought it and did my unboxing, I realized I bought one that had the tail ripped out of it. <sighs> and I spent 10 minutes on set looking to see where I dropped this tail. And then I had to go through the footage. I'm like, oh. But I will say that one was at least colored a little better. The last one, the giant Godzilla was just pure blue. Yeah, yeah. The Kong was pure black, even though he's like brownish in the movie. So the the paint job is way better this time around. But yes, this is just your standard Godzilla. He comes with a little heat ray. Uh, and they, I know they did this for the previous toy lines, too. Uh, he has battle damage. That's a fun feature for kids. Yeah. It reminds me of the old Jurassic Park yes. line. But boom, there he goes. His, his ribs are exposed. Now he's like Sagat with the... <laughs> <laughs> scar on his chest. So yeah, I mean, it's good that they're doing like a little bit of the regular Godzilla. It's just in case, you know, there's a kid who wants it and they're not too thrilled with the new design. Right. But if you want the best of both worlds, Kevin, have you seen this guy? No. What? Is so, this like a skin you peel off? Yes. Oh my this God. is like the Mystique uh, X-Men figure oh. where you could peel Wolverine off of Mystique. So, yeah, this is, uh, what do they call this one? Um, I think it's Titan Evolved Godzilla. Okay. So, yeah, it has a flap here. So, it's regular Godzilla. It's got that fleshy feel. You yeah, feel yeah, it. I can tell it's real. Yeah. That real feel skin. <laughs> This will probably be the last time I undo this because I always feel like I'm going to break it. Uh, yeah, so you, uh, you lift them up here. I'm molten here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, no. It's alien. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And then the pink spikes are underneath. All yeah, right. The feet are the hardest part to get off. 
Okay, come on, come on. Oh, this is going to be frustrating for kids. Yes. Kind of a neat play feature, but very frustrating for kids. Yes, this is one case where I would have preferred just a hard shell that you crack in half. And it's going to be great for parents. They're going to find this skin uh, I, on the carpet. I'm almost amazed they didn't just make like a cap for the spikes. Yeah. Because that's really the only part that's changing, right? Uh, his no, his changing? body is completely he different. He goes to a different color, okay. Yeah, his um, he's more built, his arms are longer. He's supposed to have uh, spiked elbows, but ooh. I guess they didn't do it for this particular toy. Probably because it was going to dig into the skin. Yeah. Okay. Although that one doesn't have, oh no, that one does have spiked elbows, so they're just not pink. Uh, there we go. Amazing. Now, I thought this would be basically just this toy, the regular yeah. one, but now it's a little smaller because they have to make up for like... How big the flesh suit is. Streamline it a bit. But I like this. The flesh suit will stand on its own and wiggle. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> let's. <laughs> when you're doing close ups, let's make sure we get this guy wiggling. <laughs> so, back in the 70s with the Kenner Star Wars line, yeah. the Jawas originally had vinyl capes like Darth Vader, a little sheet of plastic. Yeah. And they felt like they needed to plus them up, so they started giving them a, a fabric robe. Uh, and when I was a kid, I used to just take the robe off and stand it next to the jowl and get two <laughs> jowls. Um, I will say one drawback is the skin flattens the fins okay. on this. And again, since they have to squeeze it in that suit, not as detailed. So he doesn't have yeah. the spikes on the shoulder. His tail is supposed to be like a stegosaurus, and uh, it's just very, ha very half-assed. Uh, but they actually, put, they actually made his uh, mouth movable, which I wasn't expecting. Okay. Uh, and his feet are mo uh, movable, too. Uh, but yeah... I love this. <laughs> it's so cool, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> Fantastic. All right, I guess we'll go down the line here. Who do you got next? All right. We got Shimu here. So, again, we're filming this the day before the trailer, so I assume... So this is Shimu with Frostbite Blast. Frostbite Blast. So in the trailer, Godzilla is trapped in ice. Okay. And he's got the pink glowing, and he comes out. So I'm guessing... Much like Kong is going to have to fight the Scar King, Godzilla yeah. will have to fight Shimo. I'm guessing Scar King breaks Kong's arm round one, and Shimo's going to freeze Godzilla. Uh, and then eventually Godzilla Have will... you read the script? It seems like you've got it all figured out. I'm don't just you? piecing it together. Okay. I don't know for sure. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, Shimo's kind of an interesting character. Looks like a parrot lizard. <laughs> It reminds me a little bit of uh, Angoras, right? Having the four-legged, yeah. like, down set. yeah monster with spikes on its back yeah um i like the idea of it being an ice monster to yeah, fight the fire breath of godzilla you yeah know? like that's a good idea always have to be doing new things with the brand mm -hmm. uh, but he's pretty cool looking so he's got articulation in the arms they move forward and backwards out to the side a little bit yeah articulation in the back legs is a little more limited than the arms mm -hmm. articulation in the tail so you can whip godzilla with that his head moves up and down and he's got yeah, articulated jaw that bites onto that little so, blast effect. I thought it was just biting, but then I realized way later they all they have holes in the top of their okay. mouth that you lock them in. Gotcha, I see that. Because it was annoying the first time I used I, when I did my unboxing. I'm like, oh, you got to keep his mouth closed and just hope it doesn't fall out. <laughs> but yes, uh, Shimo. They've been very quiet about Shimo, other than the merchandise, which doesn't even tell you who he is. Uh, you might be noticing there's there's one other uh, monster that's absent. Mm. From all the merchandise, except for one uh, bit of merch coming out. So they introduced some new flying monsters. Because they're in the Hollow Earth. Right, There's right. flying monsters everywhere. Apparently, they tested out a new monster, and it did not test well. So they they went to Toho, and they're like, here's some extra money. And apparently, there is a new Mothra in the movie. Oh, wow. But I think they added it so late. Because I saw like a picture of the... Because there's a second wave coming. Okay. And there's like, uh, I have them in my case over there. There's those little Godzillas with the big heads. Yeah, yeah. They're doing a toy line of that. And that's so far, that is the only Mothra. Okay. And like, they must have been like, well, shit, we have this weird, it's like a griffin thing. Okay. Um, and they were like, oh, this isn't selling well. We'll keep it in the movie, but I guess we're going to swap over with Mothra. But we don't have time to make more Mothras. Well, they'll, they'll pull the Baby Yoda trick. Uh, yeah. Surprise. <laughs> a year later, we have Mothra toys. Um, I'll send you a picture of what All it right. looks like. It's cool. He's kind of like, it, or she is a little browner. Okay. Uh, uh, this is just according to the toy. I don't know what it's going right, to look like in the movie. Right, accurate coloring or not. Uh, I'm glad they're doing Mother again. Mother, Mother was cool in 2019. We just didn't see a lot of her. Yeah. They overdid that light effect, and then during the fight, it was raining, so it'd be cool to actually see her yes. spread her wings. 
<laughs> I see what you did there. Um, we got two versions of the Scar King, right? Yes, Scar King, who, uh, that's Scar King with Whiplash. With Whiplash. So he has a bone whip that can be strapped around him like a bandolier, which is a yeah. pretty cool looking That is cool. Weapon. It doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> if it's exposed bone, the tendons are gone, it's going to fall apart. I'm sure. Well, they're smart. It's I'm super cool looking. If they can make an axe out of a Godzilla, a Godzilla, fin, yeah. Godzilla dorsal fan, they can figure that out. It was funny when I first saw the trailer, I thought maybe that was like a Godzilla tail, but now that mm. I have the toy, it's like a, it's a jawbone to something. Yeah, I think, well, do you think it's those... Lizards from Kong, from those Kong Islands? The skull crawlers? Yeah. It could be a skull crawler. It has a similar head and then the long tail. Yeah, that could be it. Um, But yeah, he's definitely the bad guy that they're pushing in the advertisements. Uh, Even the first teaser was just him. Right. With the Godzilla Kong skulls. So he's got decent articulation in his leg with the hips and the knees. He's got articulation at the shoulders and elbows. He's got a rolling joint at his Mm. center of his chest and then his head rotates side to side so decent articulation not um like outrageous but better than yeah a lot of action figures i will say the um the standard like not battery ones like that uh they are more articulate than what you're about to see with the next one right (laughs) so then we have the electronic version here who's bigger yeah it's funny how they have different scales for all these toys i know Uh, well that's the thing like shimo i'm like is it in scale with the other standard ones i'm not sure i guess it's it's hard to tell i don't know how big he is so we've got a a big button on his back here he does the second one too Interestingly enough, that whiplash is not uh, detachable. Yeah. yeah, it feels like it is though. It's probably a separate piece, but yeah, it's made differently. Yeah. yeah, so he loses the elbows and knee joints, and his hips are basically useless unless yeah. they sit him down. Yeah, so he's kind of. I don't know. They put all the effort on that figure into the yeah. sound effect. I like that. Uh, Kong is fighting like another Kong, which the closest they ever got to that was Mechani Kong. Yeah. <laughs> King Kong escapes. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. Um, and I like that he's more of a orangutan instead yeah, of a gorilla. Doing a different a different species is yeah. a little bit of variety. Here we've got the, is it the Evolved? At the, the official marketing is calling him Godzilla Evolved. Godzilla Evolved. Okay. I've heard people call him Red Goji. I just keep calling him Pink Godzilla. Pink Godzilla. <laughs> Pink Godzilla. Yeah. So he's got hip articulation and swivels at his ankles Yeah. Uh, to help him balance a little bit, but he can't do a whole lot there. And then swivels at the shoulders. He does have articulation at the mouth, it looks like, but it's a... Uh, like it's a for- Spring loaded snapshot kind of thing. It's for the butt. It, yeah, his mouth moved too, the Scar King. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, yeah. yeah. The That's right, why so. the Scar King and Kong, their faces are rubbery. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. Yep. All right. I used to have the old Peter Jackson King Kong that did the same thing and then he finally broke. Uh, <laughs> like... Are you ready? I love the legendary Godzilla roar. It's just such a good, like, really update good. of the roar. The last two Japanese Godzilla movies, they just recycle the roars from the first movie. Okay. Which is fine. It's a classic. It's like the lightsabers. It's fine. But, like, like the very them. first movie, yeah, though. Yeah. Not even, like, the 70s, which sounds kind of like that. It's weird they didn't switch it up uh, uh, enough for those last you, two. You'd think they'd have such a big bank of them, they would use yeah, they, a variety of them throughout well, the Well, that's movie. what I like. King of the Monsters used all the roars. Yeah. Like, literally, where he falls into, like, the when he first fights Ghidorah, he does, like, this 70s or 90s roar as he's falling down. They're like, let's just use all of them. It makes sense, in a way. You know? <laughs> like, why would he always roar the same way? Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, I like what I like what they're doing is uh, the, the fins are, like, translucent, mm-hmm. which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a shame that that doesn't carry down to the tail on any of these figures. Yeah. Um, it's, it looks okay, but it would be even better if they were trying to the way, I like, down. I like the inconsistency with the, the elbow spikes. So this one has none. The, the battle roar has smaller ones. And then the standard ones, they're not colored and they're up further on his arm. It's like, all right, I guess... Were they designing these while they were changing their mind here and there? <laughs> it's, it's really funny that they don't make these things in scale. Even if even yeah. if they change the articulation from one to another, that they don't reuse some of the parts. Yeah. The legs or the arms or something, yeah. reuse the tool. Or just resize them up. Yeah, it's like a different mold. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is kind of interesting. And then we've got the this is the electronic Kong here. Yes, he looks really good. I, a very like exciting pose. So to much, him. yeah. Nice like, like I said, like the coloring is a lot better on these than the previous one. I I'm not a huge fan of the pinholes in his chest for the speaker. It's a yeah. little bit more noticeable on him. I don't think I noticed it's there on Godzilla. Yeah. It's just a little bit. One thing I didn't like about uh the Playmates giant ones, they have like the pin like the screws are just so obvious on yeah. the one side. They're pretty obvious on the back yeah. end too. Yeah. All right, are we ready for a yeah. oh, King Kong roar? <laughs> All right. <laughs> and he's got rotations at the shoulders there yeah. and a rotation at the hip, so he can sit down. Yeah, if you're, like, putting them on a shelf, they have decent poses. They, yeah, they're in... Godzilla's a, the one that you could use as a toy the most, I think. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they have a nice, like, sort of, like, action... Sort of mm. static poses, but they they they're not just like waiting for the bus pose, you know. Yeah. Like they're actually look like they're enraged. And then, cool. um, real quick, let's just go through these. So these are the standard. This is Kong with the Beast Glove. We have an acronym. Yeah, what does it stand for? Bio Enhanced Anatomic Seismic Thunder Glove, Armed with his ancestral axe and a prototype battle gauntlet that enhances his earth-shattering primal strength, Kong roars into battle, packing a meteor impact with every punch. Thunder glove. Is he going to have electricity powers like the original King Kong versus Godzilla? That would be cool. I thought in the last movie when they had to like shock him to bring him back to life, he was going to have electricity powers. It's interesting he doesn't have the axe, though, as an accessory on that figure, right? It's weird they would bring up the axe. They mention the axe, but he yeah. doesn't have it. Um, and that's something you just recycle from the last line. Right. And now they're saying biomimic heave. So heaves were the machines they used to go to the hollow earth. Right. But this is biomimic and it's like spikier. I guess it's supposed to maybe look like a monster as like shielding. Mm. Cause in the last film, as soon as they went to the hollow earth, they got attacked by those flying snake bat right. things. They definitely show that little ship in the trail. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, this is pretty much on par with like uh, the Shimo and the Whiplash action. Okay. Very poseable. You can see like the different joints and whatnot in him. Uh, and the same goes with Godzilla. Uh, I will say, I think all the Godzillas have detachable tails, except for maybe no Battle Roar. I think I also had to attach his tail. If they're just too long to put in a package. Yeah, this, the legendary Godzilla has such an enormous yes. tail. Not quite Shin Godzilla. I think he has the biggest tail. Okay. Um, but yeah, again, same kind of idea here. Although, look, they, they put the strap over the fins, so yeah, you got, you got, down. you're gonna have to dip him in hot water <laughs> and smooth him out. Uh, but he also comes with the heat ray that you gotta, like, pop into the mouth. Uh, hold on, let's see what this says. Godzilla has evolved into an all-new form. Now faster, stronger, and more powerful, Godzilla thunders into battle with a supercharged heat ray and city-destroying tail swipe. Oof. I don't know if he's going to be destroying too many cities. Uh, the only city I think I see him in in the trailer as normal Godzilla is Rome. He's mm. coming out of the Colosseum in one of the European like TV spots. Okay. He's just coming out of it. Wow. Like, my Godzilla, don't, please. Yeah. My people. <laughs> thousands of years old. <laughs> and then you want to do these two little guys here? These, I mean, I think these guys are the show stealers from this basic <laughs> figure assortment. <laughs> Uh, Careful with uh, Suko, his rock. You're going to lose that rock. If you have a kid, the kid's losing that rock. It, he doesn't have a way to really grip it. <laughs> mm. So Suko yeah. is a baby Kong. Yes. Is he? Do we know if he's a, a Kong or if he's a well, Star King? Um, I think he's a Kong. But well, there's so many like, like uh, apes that are like being enslaved by Scar King. Okay. So he's probably like close in relation to Kong. I don't know if he's quite gorilla type, but mm. Kong, like in that, from what we could tell in that trailer, Kong's probably going to be like a surrogate father, like a Ripley Newt sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gathering. Uh, but he's very posable. Yeah, he's got really nice range of motion. Uh, he's got joints at his shoulders, his elbows, his hips, and his knees. Mm. He's got a swivel at the waist there. Yeah. And then his head can also turn side to side. And he's got. A rock. He's like Charlie Brown. I got a rock. <laughs> Which again, you're gonna lose. I've dropped that thing so many times. And then this shocked me. This guy was in the last film. He had one little bit of 
screen time. Everyone joked that it was uh, Manila. <laughs> they thought, like, oh, this is Baby Godzilla. Uh, but yeah, Doug. That was the nickname, Doug. Doug. And it's now become his official name, Titanus Doug. Uh, remember, in the previous film, he just shows up on screen, eats like a frog, yeah. and then gives like a dumb smile. I guess what they're saying here, because if you look at his spikes in the film, it's not quite as detailed here. Right. He looks like he has Godzilla 2014 spikes, mm. like the real triangular ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm guessing what they're going to say is that these two are not necessarily the same species, but they're close in relation okay. to Godzilla and Kong. Kind of like not all lizards are the same species, right. but they're similar. I kind of want to get one of these just to put in my bearded dragon's tank. <laughs> we have a bearded dragon at our house, and it, this would look great. As long as it doesn't think it's real, they're going to want to fight it. <laughs> <laughs> this one's far less articulated. They put a lot of engineering into into uh, Suko, right? And then Doug gets short, yeah. short change with some minor tweaks in his uh, joints there and a little bit of tail movement. <laughs> but it's always fun when they make the babies. Yeah. Um, so next up, we have the mask. Now, this is very similar to a mask you gave me a long time yes. ago. The, uh, the Jurassic World blue mask. It's supposed to make another sound. Hold on. It does make other sounds. Stuck sound. on that one. Those oh. masks from the from the uh, Jurassic Park stuff has been super popular. The T-Rex ones, the... Yeah. the Whatever that raptor was called in Fallen yeah. Kingdom, they're always on display. Mm -hmm. They're always on the store shelves. Because yeah. you're right, they're good for cosplaying. Yep, people use them and build other masks yeah. out of them. Um, and this one's eyes move. Yep. The Godzilla one, not as articulate, but still fun. <laughs> That's all he does. Blue's eyes move and everything. It's a little, That one's a little bit more visible. Here... I'm looking at his nose that there's a lot of shit in the way. Yeah. Your kid's going to bump into things a lot. There is also a Kong mask, and I'm wondering if that one is a little bit easier to see through. I've been looking everywhere for the Kong mask. Is this ridiculous? It's weird because your chin sticks down very low compared to Godzilla's jawline. How about now? Oh, it's only slightly better. I'm, I'm sure it's sized for a kid. What? <laughs> If you have been following uh, my socials or the Castilla channel, my nieces are having a love-hate relationship with Godzilla. I have seen this. If I put this on, they hate it because mm. they think I'm a monster. If I take it off, they love it. They'll pick it up. They'll put their face on it. As soon as you put it on, they're like, well, that's just a monster. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, next... Again, this is all we have now. I would have loved to have shown you the giant Godzilla, but I had to return it because it didn't have a tail. Bummer. Uh, the, they, these things are selling out. Yes. This is a popular line. Yes. Between collectors and then monsters and dinosaur toys just yeah. sell well to kids. And um, I think I talked about this with Johanna um, on the show because I was like, why is the how is the MonsterVerse still going? Because only 2014 was like a huge hit. Like Kong Skull Island did fine. King of the Monsters didn't do super well at the box office. And then Godzilla vs. Kong came out during COVID. And I'm like, what's keeping this going? Why would they green light the show and everything? It doesn't seem like it justifies it. And then I looked up, apparently, the toy lines combined have sold billions of dollars. And Toho is now milking it, too. Mm -hmm. So merch, merch keeps a lot of brands alive. Merch does. Not all the time, though. Not all but the time. like, I guess there's, there's enough legacy here. The when 70th anniversary is yeah. also this year. So this stuff is just so toyetic, though. Like, yeah. when you take a movie that wasn't designed with kids in mind and make toys, yeah. you end up with Waterworld. You end up with <laughs> Last Action Hero, and it, it yeah. doesn't really work. But when you take stuff that kids mm -hmm. love, like dinosaurs and monsters, do you notice they're not making people? Do you notice no. they're not making a bunch of... No, I think they learned from the Godzilla 1998 yeah. toy line that they're, don't make the people, no one wants them. Don't make the people. <laughs> no one wants them. Don't make up a bunch of vehicles that yeah. weren't in the movie to fight the monsters. Just put a bunch of monsters in the movie and yeah. let the kids recreate whatever fights they want with toys. Yeah. And uh, the, you can give any of these to a kid. Like I said, my nieces are one. Yeah. And I had them look at the toys and they loved them. They don't. Yeah. Well, now they know who Godzilla is. It's actually becoming a problem. Like <laughs> when I come over, if I turn the TV on, they expect me to put a Godzilla on and they start like growling. I'm like, oh no, what did I do? 
This is this is supposed to be background noise because I could only handle so much Miss Rachel. Mm. <laughs> like, I didn't expect to, okay, I guess I'm Godzilla guy now. Now they're Godzilla fans. Um but yeah, like when I was a kid, I had like a lot of the Treadmaster stuff. Yeah. Like I knew who Godzilla was, but a lot of the monsters, like I'm like, ah, sure, the Mothra. At that point I hadn't seen a Mothra. I'm like, this is a monster, I'm gonna play with it. Yeah. So yeah, you can give these to anyone. Yeah, they're fantastic. But uh, yeah, here's the jewel of the collection. Oh, now let's uh, let's move these guys. Let's move some guys out of the way. All yeah, right, scoot them down this way. Here, take him so you don't lose his stone. Oh God. Oop, oop. By the way, I'm. This is the one I'm least looking forward to. When we did the trailer reaction, as soon as you showed up, I'm like, I hate him already. But it's, hate the, him already. it's one of those perfect toyetic things. Right? Yeah. You make the baby. We'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. All well, right. It's weird. There wasn't a lot of, as popular as the movie was, I didn't see a lot of baby Sonic toy stuff. And there's a baby Sonic in that first movie. Mm, like, with all the baby Yoda and stuff, yeah. you figure they would have, like, really milked that. Now, uh, on his tail, I need you to flick the switch. All right. Switch. Okay. He's lighting up already. Okay. All right. So this... I remember telling you about this when they first announced it. This reminds me of Big Rex. Yeah. Put up a picture of Big Rex. Uh, that was a toy everyone had as a kid, and it would breathe smoke, and it would walk. Oh, here we go. He's got the stomping action. Uh-huh. And then... Oh, he can whip with the tail. Now, be careful with this. He's not the most well-balanced. Um fall over if you... Try and beat somebody up. Okay, hold on. Oh! <laughs> the only problem is he can't go backwards. Can the he turn? No. Oh, so I mean, cool. if you're whipping the tail like an you asshole, slowly... you can kind of steer yeah, okay. him. So there's two things. That's a roar. That's a good sound and roar. And then, of course, this. Oh! That's awesome. <laughs> that is cool. This thing is so cool. I love it. <laughs> um, the top is like very rubbery feeling. Okay. Yeah. 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 They were smart. Like the giant Godzilla, like the giant Godzilla toys, those spikes are really sharp, especially the previous toy line. I remember we were like, this is going to hurt someone. Uh, so they made these a little bit softer. Uh, yeah. You just, it gives you a little dropper. You okay. just pour a little bit of water into the head. And I guess it's got like an atomizer in there that just like shreds it. But this looks the most like the movie. Yeah. Like a lot of the toys are giving him this kind of like dark green look. Godzilla has never actually been green. I think maybe one movie. I think 2000 he might have actually been green, mm -hmm. but he's charcoal gray. Yeah, yeah. Or in these new movies, he's usually been like pretty much black in the first one. Um, so yeah, this actually looks how he's supposed to look like in the movie. Okay. Uh, I think it's a cool toy. It's, it's cool really as neat. hell. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to do anything else. Yeah. Like with Kong so or something. You have a hard time getting Kong to balance. Yeah. That's why like I think this, they're just. The tail is all of what's happening here. It's like. Yeah. Those legs are dragging him, but the wheel is supporting him. Yeah. I think it's, they're just doing Godzilla. Because again, it's like, so it's Jada, RC, Kong. Okay. So I don't even know if that's Playmates or... If... No, so Jade is his own company. They do a lot yeah. of diecast and a lot of RC stuff. Okay, yeah. So that's yeah. completely separate. Okay. Um, so but they, yeah. they must have got the RC license while yeah. Playmates got the action figure license. Yeah, but the packaging... Like I, have, I still have the box upstairs. The packaging is like almost exactly the same. Okay. They're using the same... So it must be some kind of partnership, yeah. like synergy there. Uh, but yeah, no, that is the... Uh, that is the, the main thing from this toy line that everyone wants. I got lucky... And found one, even though the store said it had none. Okay. I just happened to come across it. They are flipping this. So this is yeah, like... Yeah, this is the one to scalp? This is maybe like 60 bucks, I think. Okay. I'm seeing on Facebook Marketplace for like 90, 100. I'm just, some places on eBay, they go a little higher. Uh, yeah, people people were trying to buy it from me. <laughs> They're like, hey, are you going to like sell that? I'm like, no, I kind of want to keep this one. This one's fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah... Godzilla X Kong. You know who I really want to see Godzilla reunite with on screen? Who's that? I mean, we, we've got to see him in the last few years. We got to see him with Ghidorah, Rodan, Mothra, Mecha Godzilla. Mm -hmm. <sighs> now he's with Kong and all these people. I just want to see him 
just go toe to toe one more time with Charles Barkley. I want them to rematch. I want them to have a rematch. I like that idea. <laughs> But they'd have to recast Charles Barkley and it'd be LeBron because uh, no, the world we live no, in. no, we saw what's happened in Space Jam. We're uh, Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. You could come up with something. I was hit with Hollow Earth Titan energy and Alma Giant. <laughs> the only way to stop Godzilla is to beat him at basketball. <laughs> I can do this. All right, <laughs> that's all I want. And Jet Jaguar. But more importantly, I want Charles Barkley to come back. What if What if Charles Barkley wears a suit of armor that looks like Jet Jaguar? Well, that's the best of both. That's the best go. of both worlds. Are you kidding you me? Know, he beats him at basketball. I'll get two things I love. He beats him at basketball <laughs> and then presses a button on his watch. And Nanotech puts him in the suit. But, but Jet Jaguar has to look a little bit like Charles Barkley. <laughs> I want him to look a little bit like Charles Barkley. And then like, he... I want him to have, like, the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. The new Godzilla um, anime, the the show, Singular Point, they did rework Jet Jaguar to be, like, manned by a human. Okay. There's, like, a tiny old guy in Inside. the mech suit, which is pretty fun. Uh, but, yeah, that's what I want. I want Charles Barkley in a Jet Jaguar suit <laughs> going up against Godzilla. Give us what we want. <laughs> Uh, but that's all I got to say about this toy line. I think it's a good toy line. It's definitely a step up from the previous one. Yeah. Which was not that good. Uh, could be a little bit better, but it's not the end of the world. Well, they have so many more characters in this movie. Yeah. It's given them a lot more stuff to go with. Like, yeah. So we'll see. And we'll see whether this continues on with the next, another movie in the franchise and even more toys. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not stopping anytime they're, soon. They're banking on this thing. Keep rolling. And they're, they're, they're Japan and America. They're going full steam ahead with all of their franchises. Uh, it'd be cool to get some minus one merch. I know they're uh, the only thing I'm finding are like the really expensive figures. Yeah. Uh, nothing that one like... wasn't geared at the kids as much. Didn't have a wide release. So they yeah. probably aren't doing as much of the like yeah. budget friendly. But I, I know Bandai makes Godzilla stuff all the time. Yeah. I'd be interested to see if they, uh, pump... I know they're coming out with some other Bandai stuff, but yeah, I'd be interested to get some, um, minus one stuff i saw they make the t-rex looking one okay which is i don't know if you saw he has that t-rex form yeah, yeah. in the new movie uh so yeah be cool to get that but yeah these are these are all awesome and there you go all right guys let us know in the comments down below if you're gonna see godzilla x kong and thanks for hanging on the peg with us oh and subscribe to my godzilla podcast castilla versus the pod monster i forgot that was the point of this episode <laughs> subscribe to my godzilla podcast castilla versus the pod monster on youtube Wherever you find your podcast, every other Wednesday ish, we're very inconsistent, ish. but we're still there. Uh, and I have done unboxings for all of these short unboxings. So yeah, that's it for me. Goodbye. See you guys.